Okay, today we're going to show you part number 9185, the Takancha Prodigy brake controller, and also the adapter cable, part number 3035-P, on a Ford F250 with the towing package on it. Okay, to begin our install, we have to get a little bit of access to the port. What we need to do is take off this panel here, this comes down, and then we have to get back into the corner here to get to the actual plug. All right, once you have access to it inside, you'll notice that we actually had to take out this bundle assembly here. This is not typical in a truck. This is an aftermarket assembly, probably a type of alarm system. But what we need to get to is back in this area right here, you can see that gray plug. That's the port for a tow package. On the F-250s and 350s, they'll be up here. However, on this, there is one a, a variation like this vehicle here. This plug was actually mounted by the firewall. A little bit different, but for whatever reason, there's a variant. So you can also look back up in here, and we'll show you that location also. This is the port right here that was moved into its non-standard position. This is where we originally found it on the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and use that since the alarm system is in the way of the other of the original location. Just give you a reference point. This is the top right here of the gas pedal. So it's basically across up on this pillar here. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and plug in our brake controller adapter. And that will be part number 3035-P. Okay, now we can go ahead and plug the other end of this into our brake controller after we install the mounting bracket. All right, next what we'll do is we'll mark our bracket for positioning. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and just hold it up here on this bottom edge where it's nice and flat. And in this corner right here, we'll go ahead and just make a small dot for reference. And then we'll put our first screw there. And then afterwards, what we'll do, we'll put our uh, brake controller inside and then eyeball it so we can make sure from left to right, to make sure we get it straight. And then once we have it positioned the way we want it, then we'll go ahead and make our secondary uh, screw install here. Okay. Okay, at this point we can simply just go ahead and install our adapter cable in. And then we'll just mount it right up here. Okay, we got the brake controller installed now. The last thing we do is just take our wires and zip tie them up to a safe position. And we're finished and all we gotta do now is just test. Okay, now we'll go ahead and check it. Obviously we got two lights going here. One is lets us know we got power going to it and the other one is a boost setting. So that way we don't got power going to it already. Now what we can do next is go ahead and use our manual override and it shows NC that tells us there's no connection to it. Which is obvious we don't have a trailer hooked up or a tester. So also what we'll do is go ahead and get our tester and just try it out then. If you plug your test device in and you can see here we have a C for it's connected. We'll go ahead and test the manual override and it starts sending out voltage. And it looks like it's up to you all the way up on the scale of 1 to 12. We'll just Check the dial, make sure it works Go all the way down. Back up. And we'll leave it about right in the middle. Leave it in the middle about six is a good way to start testing to make sure to fine tune it to what kind of load situation you have in your trailer. And there you have it. That covers for our install part numbers 9185 with the Concha brake controller and the adapter cable 3035 P. Floor brake control harness.